hello, League of Souls, and any other unfortunate soul who might be watching. It is I, Beldine. It has been a long time since I've come to you with any kind of video. So today I figured I would do another Atlas video, because a lot of people have been asking for that. Uh, there's just one problem. No Atlas, which makes this the perfect opportunity to do a drunk flying video. We have had a very strong Kahlua and cream. <laughs> uh, I am a lightweight, in case you were wondering. But anyway, uh, people were saying, oh, I wanna see a sand video, because apparently sand is uh, mysterious to some people. So then tonight I'm just gonna, I'm just going to show people how to lead using sand uh, to set things up really well for your backer, and why I sand particular towers and kill others, and just a lot of a lot of fun stuff. So I got myself a base. It's not a particularly tough base. You know, I say that so blithely and then I probably would die. So sand. Sand is a great tool. Sand, everybody should use sand all the time. How do you know what towers to sand and what towers to try and kill? Well, always sand the, the blue mages first. That's just a given because Again, if you run into trouble and your blue mage is sanded, you could just cloak if you, in the case of Necrix or something. Um, and it's, you know, level also. So I would obviously sand the blue mage first and then I would try maybe to kill the red mage um, and and things that, that I'm weak against. Uh, so archer, archer tower, elemental barrier is fucking great. But obviously it doesn't work on classic towers, like archers, trebuchets, cannons, what have you. So those are the ones that will get through Necrit's uh, natural defenses, and so those are the ones I sand. Um, but anyway, here we here we go. I'm, I'm bored myself. I'm not going to talk anymore. I did not actually, did not pay that much attention to where the mages are, but fortunately... Someone with Harbinger Dragons is following me, so I needn't worry about a thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was... That was silly of me. Alright, I'm gonna waste a, an elemental barrier rage on this. Even though I'm basically immune to lightning towers. So, I sand... Uh, and, and, and if you practice, you see that I can double sand towers, right? So, like, that's a great tool, you know? Ah, f oh. Did you guys see that? I was in so much trouble. <laughs> I was in so, so much trouble. <laughs> but I saved it. Okay. Here we go. I'm not going to touch that because it'll explode and kill me. Um, wow, but cool. You see what I'm saying? I fucking sanded those blue mages, and then that red asshole was trying to, trying to kill me, and I fucking cloaked, and, and that was that. Game over. And I was free to continue sanding some shit. So that's, that's what's up. Oh, he's telling me red what? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. The rest of this base is a joke, so it's fine. I'm not concerned. Oh shit, maybe I should have been. Nah, it's cool. Gotta kill these farms. Sand also weakens towers, incidentally. So if you're like struggling with farms, sand them three or four times. Sand the same one like five times in a row if you have the rage for it. And each time the farm will get successively weakener. I don't know. And um and then eventually you might be able to kill it. All right, cool, no doubt. So I didn't do too badly on this base in the end. I had some trouble in the middle, but we saved it. We did save it. And there's an Obsidian Avix. By the way, a lot of hate for Avix this season. Like a lot of people kind of got him and they were like, oh, I don't like him. He's a boss. Like he's... A great follow if you know what you're doing and if you had a good lead which 
I may be so humble as to say this was a good setup, especially for Avix, because everything is sanded. Most of the things are sanded. And um, and he could just, like, shred through it at his, at his leisure. Just talon frenzy everything. Like, I'm not even that good with him, but just don't hate. Anyway, uh, let's do some more.